Well, if you saw the title of today's video, there's not much of a need in me explaining this one, so here's what we're gonna be making today. Okay, so assuming you already have your clip graded, the rest of this is very simple. What we're gonna do is click and drag all of our nodes and hit Command D to disable them. And now we're gonna hop into the edit page. The first cut we're gonna make is gonna determine how long the audience sees the clip before it's actually graded, the log image. You don't wanna keep this too long, so I like to go about 15 to 20 frames in. And then you can select your blade tool and make a cut. And the next cut we make is gonna determine how long each step of the process is shown on screen. I like to keep this one between 20 and 30 frames, but it really just depends on your preferences. So we're at 19 frames now, let's jump ahead to one second and maybe 15 frames. And we'll make a cut, hold Alt, click and drag, and that's gonna duplicate it. And now we're just gonna duplicate it a few more times and we're gonna stack it on top of here and I'm gonna show you exactly why in just a second. Now we're gonna select our blade tool and then we're gonna go through and now all these cuts are a consistent length. So that's just a quick time saving hack right there. Now this is a pretty simple grade so I don't think I wanna show that many steps. So maybe I'll just delete this last one and then drag this clip back out. And now we can hop into the color page and if you enable your timeline viewer here, it's gonna give you a miniature scrunch down version of what the timeline looks like, and this can help you ensure you're on the right clip. So the first section, we wanna leave everything disabled so that the audience is seeing what the raw clip looked like. And then let's go ahead and start enabling things one by one. So we'll select these first two nodes and hit Command D, and that's gonna enable these two. Although you can see, not much actually happened here. And you don't really wanna showcase that. There's no need in really overdoing the step-by-step -step thing, so let's go ahead and make sure every swipe actually contains substantial progress. So on the second clip, I'm also gonna enable the third node. So Command D on this one, and now that's a lot better. So now we're going from this flat image to a corrected image, but now we can see that the progress made in node two actually helped node three look better. So let's keep it disabled on the first clip, and then we'll enable it on the second one along with the first and third node. Now we'll jump into the next clip, and again, we'll select one through four, Command D to enable them, and let's make sure we have some kind of progress going here. Yep, it's looking pretty good. And then the last one, I'll go ahead and select all the nodes, and Command D to enable all of them, and now we can see the progress here. Now the second and third clip really don't have much going on, so I think I'm gonna combine them. So we're gonna hop back into the edit page, we're gonna delete the first clip, and then Ripple delete that section. And now if you hop back into color, we're gonna be sure to disable everything on this first clip. So now the progress is one, to two, to three, to four, and that's our final image. And the more complex the grade, the more clips you can have to show each step. But now for the fun part, we're gonna go back into the edit tab, into the effects library, and choose video transitions. And I like to use the edge wipe, it's just the most simple, and it comes with a pretty handy feature, which we'll go over in just a second. So if you select the edge wipe and you drop it on your clip, be sure to shorten it to the amount of time you want it to cover. And as we play it back, we can see it's kind of swiping from the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into the transition effects and go into angle and set that to 90. And now it's gonna wipe from left to right. So we can expand this here based on how long we want it to show up. That looks pretty good. And then you can also set in an easy ease. I like in and out. And this just adds a little bit of momentum to the transition and I like it a lot. Now we'll zoom out a little bit and then click and hold alt and then click and drag that transition onto each cut. And then here's our end result. Now here's something worth mentioning. When you have these super small changes that take place, like when I affected the skin tones, it's very subtle, but it is important. If you really wanna highlight that, you can jump into the transitions and then set a border. And I like to keep them really, really thin so they're not overpowering, that'll work. And you can also change the color, but I like to keep it at white. And then we'll just go ahead and Alt, click and drag that same transition onto each cut again. And now we've duplicated that exact transition onto each one of these. So now here's our new final result. And that just helps highlight and accent the small changes we've made. And color grading is all about the nuances. Now let's say you're uploading this to Instagram. We wanna make sure that it's not too long because people wanna see it multiple times. So you don't wanna leave too much tail end on either end of the video. So that's it for today's video. If you're new here, my videos are usually a bit longer and more in depth, but this answers a question I get asked all the time on Instagram. So be sure to follow me there and reach out if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.